Okay, I thought I'd uh, show you a different way of catching your drone. It works with the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro. Uh, I just feel it's a little more safe, a little safer, a little more secure, and uh, a little stress, less stressful, I think, really. Um, okay, I'll just uh, I'll show you the traditional way first. Obviously, it's very noisy. This little thing. Let's hope we get some good um, quiet pro props on it soon. Um, I'll show you the normal way first. You take it up, uh, you drop it down into your hand, which is okay. But if it's a bit windy, it's a bit nerve wracking. Um, there is another way, and I have searched for it and I can't find it, so I thought I'd share it with you. It's no doubt out there, I'm sure, I just couldn't find it, so I thought I'd share it with you. So you take it up. Um, get it pointing towards you because you're going to hold it in your hand. So you want it, your hand to be um, get a nice bit pointing towards you about two levels. So it's about two levels. Hold the ground and lift it up slowly until the engine's motor's drop really quietly and then just pull it back. You can do that with the Mavic Pro and a Mavic Air, and I just feel it's safer. Let's do it once more. Start it up, without recording. Uh, raise it. Get it pointed towards you, so it's quite natural. About two points, two points. Hold it. You can practice playing with it a little bit. You can't move it, and you think you're able to. But, you take the weight off it, and disable it, turn your comatose, you can actually move it around and yeah, you put it on the floor if you want it. You can actually drop it. When you drop it, uh, the senses pick up the floor and uh, the unbuttons increase and then you just pull the stick back. Okay, hope you find it useful. Thank you.